Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the diagnosis of secondary amenorrhea, which is defined as the absence of three or more menstrual cycles in a row by someone who has had periods in the past. We have already discussed the causes of secondary amenorrhea in our previous video and you can find the link of that video in the i button in the top right corner of this video. So what investigations are done to diagnose a case of secondary amenorrhea? Those include first of all the pregnancy test, secondly hormones assay, thirdly the pelvic ultrasound and specific investigations. By specific investigations, we mean the type of tests which are done to diagnose a certain gynecological condition causing secondary amenorrhea based upon the overall clinical presentation of a patient. Let us talk about the pregnancy test. A simple urine pregnancy test in a case of secondary amenorrhea may solve the problem as it may be done before requesting the in expensive investigations. Next come hormone assays, serum FSH and LH levels, serum prolactin, thyroid function test like TSH3, T and T4 levels are done in the hormone assays to diagnose different conditions. So let us discuss the interpretation of hormone assays. When the result of hormone assays are interpreted carefully, these can diagnose or rule out most of the causes of secondary amenorrhea. First of all, raised LH, raised FSH and LH levels indicate menopause. Secondly, increased LH and FSH ratio is diagnostic of polycystic ovary disease. Thirdly, raised prolactin level is either drug related or points to pituitary adenoma. Fourth, low FSH, LH, prolactin and thyroid function tests are indicative of Sheehan syndrome. Number five, abnormal thyroid functions are seen in thyroid dysfunction. Let us talk about the pelvic ultrasound. Pelvic ultrasound is quite useful in the diagnosis of ovarian tumor and polycystic ovarian disease. Now let us talk about the specific investigations which are done in case of secondary amenorrhea. First is that of the X-ray chest that is done to diagnose the tuberculosis. Secondly, premenstrual biopsy is also done to diagnose the pelvic tuberculosis. Third is serum cortisol level that is done to diagnose the Cushing syndrome. Thyroid scan is done to diagnose the thyroid dysfunction. 17 hydroxyprogesterone level is done to diagnose congenital adrenal hyperplasia. CT scan of adrenal scan, adrenal gland is done to diagnose adrenal tumor. CT scan of pituitary gland is done to diagnose the pituitary tumor. And in order to diagnose a condition of Asherman syndrome, we do HST. And nowadays, hysteroscopy is preferred as compared to HST. Now, here we have a complete list of all the investigations which are done in the secondary amenorrhea. Like we have physiological causes of secondary amenorrhea, pregnancy is diagnosed by UPT, lactation by prolactin, menopause by LH, FSH level. Environmental stresses are diagnosed by not only by the history but also by LH, FSH level. In marathon runners, we do LH, FSH level. When there is sudden weight changes like weight gain and weight loss, we see changes in LH and FSH level. In anorexia nervosa also, we see changes in LH FSH level. In Sheehan syndrome, we do LH FSH prolactin TFTs level. In Asherman syndrome, HST and hysteroscopies are done. In gynecological conditions like hysterectomy, endometrial ablation, and ophorectomy, and also the drug related secondary amenorrhea, these conditions are usually clinically based. Among the androgenizing condition, polycystic ovarian disease is diagnosed by checking the LHS and FSH ratio, virilizing ovarian tumor by pelvic ultrasound, adrenal tumor by pelvic ultrasound and abdominal ultrasound, congenital adrenal hyperplasia by 17-hydroxyprogesterone and also in, in adrenal tumor we do DHEA levels as well. Among the medical conditions for Cushing syndrome, we do serum cortisols. For thyroid disorders, we do TFTs. For pituitary tumor, 
the prolactin level is raised and sometimes CT scan is done. In endometrial tuberculosis, axillary chest plus premenstrual biopsy is done. In pseudocytosis, UBD is done. Lymphocytic adenohypocytosis is diagnosed by hormones level. So that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to complete it with this code. An arrow can only be shot by pulling it backward. So when life is dragging you back with difficulties, it means that it is going to launch you into something that is great. So just focus and keep aiming. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.